A new survey shows that many of us have the potential for hidden health hazards if we take medications and drink alcohol. Medical reporter Liz Bonus asked the experts at TriHealth what we need to know to avoid the dangers in today's medical edge. It's just a glass of wine or two at dinner or a few drinks with the girls after work. But a new report from the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey found four in ten of us who drink alcohol also take a medication which could cause potential health problems with it. In older adults, it's eight in ten. The potential is definitely there. Tom Imhoff is a clinical pharmacist who says researchers in this survey asked about prescription medications and how much and how often people drink alcohol. The survey is one of the first to ever look at the potential for those who drink alcohol and those who take medications and an interaction. Now, we don't always know when people are drinking and what some of those reactions might be, but here's the list of what that could do. They found some people who drink alcohol could have nausea, headaches, loss of coordination. More severe, they found they could have internal bleeding, heart problems, or difficulty breathing. To avoid these risks, Imhoff suggests you pay close attention to categories of drugs that put you most at risk for these kinds of complications. They include antidepressants, anti-anxiety drugs, sleeping pills, antihistamines, and mainly the biggest population reviewed, which is cardiovascular medications. Where they looked at patients who were on blood pressure lowering drugs and beta blockers and things like that, which have the potential for causing dizziness. So it's not so much a drowsiness as it is an enhancement of the dizziness. There is often a written warning for patients on the label or in the medication insert about these risks. Whether they read that or not is, is another matter as well. So Imhoff's suggestion, ask your pharmacist about not just alcohol use, but timing with a medication as well. At TriHealth's Good Samaritan Hospital, Liz Bonus, Local 12 News. And we invite your questions for experts at TriHealth. Just go to local12.com and click on Ask the Expert.